Welcome to our channel, the portal to a world where every frame tells a story, and every review opens a door to cinematic wonders. Get ready to immerse yourself in the captivating universe of films, where a passionate team of cinephiles will guide you through a myriad of emotions, from laughter to tears, as we uncover the magic that makes movies unforgettable. The Boys Season 4 dropped their latest trailer on December 2, 2023, these are the biggest reveals for what to expect. Looking back at the timeframe for when an official teaser trailer would be released and how long after the season would appear, most of the previous trailers for both The Boys and Gen V released their first teaser trailer between two and four months before the show would be available on Amazon Prime. However, those trailers did also include the release date, which may mean that Season 4 could be a little over four months away. Regardless of when exactly the season will be released, it has been confirmed to be in 2024, and the release of the trailer is good news, suggesting it's close to finished. The teaser trailer outlines some of the events that are likely to take place during the boys' season 4, and what the Soups and Butchers boys are currently doing. Homelander appears to be central to the trailer, with conflict that is reaching a boiling point between his supporters and the Starlighters. It is also revealed that Robert Singer and Victoria Newman have been elected into office, and considering her power still being a tightly kept secret, this could have major implications on what happens next. There are also looks at the seven with the remaining members and some surprising appearances from characters that by all accounts shouldn't be there. The trailer clearly shows a large group of protesters gathered outside the New York County Courthouse. One side appears to be there to support Starlight, praising and extolling the virtues they believe she stands for, like truth, and the other is a group of rabid Homelander supporters, declaring blind support and praising his strength and superness. This trial has been alluded to during Gen V with Homelander preparing for his day in court, but it is now clear that he has the support and backing of Vought, and the majority of the people appearing on the streets to protest, the trailer provides a good look at some of the posters from the protesters and also a bird's eye view of the event itself. It appears that there is a much larger group out in the streets to protest on behalf of Homelander, while the Starlighters appear to be a fairly small group. During the protests, some of the individuals from the Homelander side jumped over the fence and rushed towards the other side, swinging their fists and escalating the protests into a violent display. The police involved and everyone on the scene appears to get wrapped up, with both sides physically attacking each other, and a shot revealing Homelander standing outside the courthouse looking smug is revealed, Victoria Newman has been building her audience over the last two seasons of The Boys and the first season of Gen V. The trailer reveals Singer and Newman standing on a stage and raising their joined hands together to celebrate the moment, as balloons are released from above. This very clearly appears to be election night, considering the celebrations and crowds cheering in taking pictures. This would mean that Singer and Newman are now the elected president and vice president respectively, the trailer shows two young people attacking adults. One is a young girl who appears to have snake-like tendrils coming from her mouth and attacks Kimiko in an apartment. The other is a young boy, whose face is not shown but the speed and strength he displays as well as his size, hair, and general appearance very much resemble Homelander's son Ryan. The boy grabs a full-grown man and pushes him away with great force, launching him through the air and resulting in the man splatting violently against a nearby building. In October 2022, in Twitter introduced two new soups to the world. Neither one is a direct adaptation from the comics, but both Sister Sage and Firecracker are soups. The trailer finally gives a first look at the characters, and both appear on stage alongside Homelander and other members of the Seven, which could indicate that these are two of the heroes replacing now deceased or exiled members from the group. Gen V also revealed that the Seven and Vought were desperate to fill the spaces again, as in Episode 1, they revealed that Golden Boy was offered a place in the Seven to be effective immediately, despite him not yet finishing his studies at Godalkin University. It's clear that the Seven are standing firm with Homelander, and now that he has unleashed his powers, and still retained favor in the eyes of many, he appears to be running the show at Vought. With a full team behind him, Homelander could be more dangerous than ever, with his true intentions fully on display, Sister Sage can be heard speaking with Homelander as the voiceover, relating his uprising to that of the Roman Emperor Caesars, overthrowing the government, and taking charge. 
This could lead to a version of the story from the original comics where Homelander kills the president, Victor Newman, and claims the office for himself. In The Boys, Newman has powers, and is currently vice president, so things will certainly be different, but there are parallels. It seems to be leading to Homelander trying to acquire as much power as possible, but Newman's blood control powers would certainly be an overwhelming threat that he is not prepared for, although Jeffrey D. Morgan's character has yet to be officially revealed, he greets Billy Butcher like an old friend. He appears familiar with Butcher's secretive group, and feels comfortable sharing a drink and softly jeering Butcher. Considering this comfort and casualness between the two, it seems likely that Morgan's character will be aligned more closely with the boys than the soups, but this could easily change as the series progresses. Right now, Vought and Homelander are desperate to convey an image of stability, strength, and confidence. While behind the scenes, a major fallout has occurred and Homelander personally tried to kill more than half of the seven, some successfully. The trailer reveals someone prominently wearing the black noir suit and assuming the position, despite being one of the soups that met his end by Homelander's hand. As a character who hides his face and voice from the public, it's easier for Vought to quietly replace him while appearing like nothing at all has changed. But it does raise the question about who exactly is under the mask in The Boys Season 4. Thank you for watch the full video. Join us for epic tales, intimate dramas, and thought-provoking masterpieces that resonate with our souls. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you never miss an opportunity to dive into the captivating world of cinema.